All right, part two. I'll try to wrap up this review of the SOG Flash 2. As I was saying at the end of the last clip, um, this should be a very durable knife. Uh, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Um, there aren't any steel liners, just what steel is necessary for the, um, the lock here and the blade obviously but other than that there's no steel liners it's just all FRN but as you can see it's a fairly thick FRN and um, there's no backspacer it's just two pieces together so very solid that way um, so I think it's a, a very strong design in that manner um, and like I said there's a little wiggle developed but not much of one and not one that I'd be concerned about um, so I think overall this knife is going to be very durable. Um, OS 8 steel, as you can see, it's not rusted or anything, so um, holding up well, and I think it'll continue to do so. The uh, next thing I have to talk about is value, um, and I think the value is a little bit lacking on this knife, honestly. Um, this thing, MSRP from SOG is $75 or something around there, 73 maybe, I don't remember. Um, and I think that's just a little bit high. Uh, you can probably pick one up for between 50 and 60 bucks, maybe on Amazon or something. But the thing is, it's uh, FRN handled, which is nothing special. And it's uh, OS 8 steel, which is, again, nothing special, very common. And uh, three and a half inch blade, so it's not that big of a blade. Um, and I really don't, you know, the ergonomics aren't that great in my opinion. So, you know, we got to compare it against some other knives and see what we think of the value. So, first contender, Kershaw Oso Sweet. Um, 4.6 ounces, a little bit heavier. However, it's also a little bit smaller um, that way. And it's also assisted opening, and it deploys a lot quicker. Um, than this one does. And it's the same blade size. These are both three and a half inch blades. You put them next to each other, uh, you can see they're very, very similar in size. The uh, flash might be slightly larger, uh, but, you know, not enough that's going to make a difference or any sort of real difference. So, for, you know, for any purpose, utility or otherwise, it's going to be a negligible difference in length. Um, so, you know, there's that. Also, I like the way this holds in my hand a whole lot better. Um, I think the grip is pretty close to the same on both of these. Um, neither of them have any jimping to speak of. Neither of them really have a thumb ramp on the back, although the Kershaw has a little bit more of one than this does. Um, and I just think this grip's a whole lot nicer in my hand, whether you're using forward or reverse grip this grips better than this thing. I, I just don't even know how still they intended this to be gripped. Uh, but I don't like it. Also, the Kershaw has no safety, and I like that. I don't think that it's necessary, as I discussed in the last clip. I think these safeties are stupid, because your knife should not pop open like that. It shouldn't pop open far enough to engage the, the flippy thing in your pocket. It should stay here which is what all my other knives do. You know, does my Buck Bantam have a safety? No. The lock is the safety. It tensions it close so that it doesn't pop open. And if it pops open that far, you're screwed anyway. Uh, so, you know, I just think it's silly to put that on there. I don't think it's necessary. I think people just freak out because it's a uh, assisted open. Um, so, this, Ker this Kershaw Oso oh Sweet you can have for about 20 bucks off Amazon. This is probably 50 to 60. So I'm gonna vote for the Oso oh Sweet. Uh, also, this is a better quality steel blade. This is an HCR 13 MOV steel, which I didn't mention, uh, which is better quality than the OS 8 in my opinion. Uh, next up, we've got the Bird Care Kara. FRN handled version. You can have one of these for about twenty to twenty-five dollars, half the price of this. You can have two of these for one of these. Um, and the handle and size is about the same as you can see here. 
The blade, however, on this is larger than the blade on this one. As you can also see, you get about a half inch extra reach with the, um, well, maybe even a full inch extra reach with the Kara Kara. Um, and I like the blade shape better, but that's just personal opinion. Um, so, pretty close to the same size handle. Both FRN handles. Um, you get a lock back rather than this lock, which I prefer a lock back. That's, again, personal preference. Um, and you get a larger blade with this. This steel is an 8CR13MOV, which I prefer, again, to the OS 8. So, higher quality blade steel, same essential quality handle. I think the grip is a, a little bit better on this, close to the same, but a little bit better. Um, you get a four positionable clip rather than a two. You get a lock back, which I like better, and I think they're stronger. Um, and this is actually a little bit lighter. This is 2.6 ounces as opposed to 3.1. So, you know, weigh your options there. Half the price. This is what I'd go with personally. And it's what I have gone with, which is why I own it. Same goes for my uh, G10 Kara Kara. All the same stuff except G10 handled um, and heavy steel liners, which makes this knife uh, 6.4 ounces, I believe. So twice as heavy, but um, you know I think it's a lot more knife. I like it a lot better, and the weight doesn't bother me. Better blade steel. Uh, this actually grips better, honestly. I think because this uh, G10 is a lot more tacky than this FRN. Um, so, and it has reasonable jimping. And this you can have for 25 to 30 dollars uh, with G10 rather than FRN. So I'm going to go with that. Um, Columbia River Knife and Tool M16 deploys faster even though there's no assist. This thing just deploys really quickly if I don't hit stuff with it. Um, <laughs> but it comes out of there fast. And I like that really well. This thing just doesn't deploy as well. Or as fast, I guess I should say. Uh, even with the assist. And once again, this Columbia River, close to the same size handle. Grips better in my hand, though, and the blade is actually a little bit longer. So, I like that better. Um, and it's about 15, 20 bucks cheaper. So there's just a whole lot of options which I think are a lot better than the Sog Flash 2. Um, it's a decent knife. It'll hold up well. Um, you know, reasonable quality blade steel and handle. And it's, uh, you know, they missed on the ergonomics in my opinion. If the ergonomics were better on this knife, I'd probably like it a lot. I'd probably love it, really. But I hate the handle, so what can you say? Um, not a big fan of the Sog Flash 2. Alrighty, so I guess that's about it for this review. Um, I've got some more planned. I'll probably be doing one of my Buck Bantam here soon. And I've got a Cold Steel Spike, which hasn't arrived yet, but it should be coming in any day. And I'll be reviewing both of those for you guys. Um, and I've got some other videos planned as well, so... I hope you all stay tuned and keep watching. JC the Sniper, signing off.